Aloha and like Flynn viewers, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I just had to get something off my chest. I saw something this past weekend that absolutely blew my mind in regards to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now, for those of you that are not aware, the Mickey's Not So uh, Scary Halloween Party is a separate ticketed attraction uh, held annually at the Magic Kingdom. Every year it starts earlier and earlier. Basically, it runs through um, August through Halloween, okay? There's several dates where Magic Kingdom closes early and they have this separate ticketed event, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It is a fun event. Uh, it's great for kids to get to do some trick-or-treating. Uh, there's some cool stuff to do around the parks, but Here's the thing, it used to be very affordable. Now, tickets this year range in price from $119 to $199. Now, you have to figure, someone like me, I'm only gonna go if I'm already down in Walt Disney World on vacation. This is a separate ticketed event. So if you are at the Magic Kingdom on the evening of a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, they are gonna close the park early at six o'clock. They are gonna kick you out at six o'clock Guests to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party are going to get in at four o'clock. They are able to get in from four o'clock until midnight. Now, the Halloween party doesn't technically start until 7 p.m. So the official ticketed times for the event are 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. You get five hours of park time. Now, what blew my mind that I just saw Every single date for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party has been sold out with the exception of two dates. And those tickets are at the higher ticket tier price of $189. That's not even the highest ticketed price. Now the highest ticketed price is $199. So if I want to take my family of four for five hours of entertainment at the Magic Kingdom, that is going to cost me a grand total of $806 based on the $189 ticket tier for five hours. If you want to be um, a little bit more accurate, I guess technically you get four to midnight because you can get in at four o'clock. So you get eight hours of entertainment. Now, what does that get you? All right, you're probably already on vacation there. So you probably already had access to the Magic Kingdom. Well, if you're there on vacation and you don't have a ticket, you're getting kicked out at six o'clock. Let's say you do have a ticket to the not so scary Halloween party. Okay, so from four until six, you get to get in, you get to ride some rides. Magic Kingdom's a very magical place. Sure, absolutely, you have a good time. Now at six o'clock, they're gonna start kicking the guests out who do not have the wristband for the not so scary Halloween party. So they're gonna be clearing the park. However, the park's already gonna get congested because everyone that has a ticket is gonna be rolling into Magic Kingdom at four o'clock to take full advantage of their entire time at the party. So when you roll in at four, the crowds are actually gonna start getting more and more crowded. They're gonna thin out a bit at six o'clock because that's when all the regular guests are gonna to have to leave. And then the party starts at seven. Now Disney is good with getting the guests out of the park starting at six o'clock. If you don't have that wristband, they're gonna close off the access to all the different lands and areas and shops, and you're gonna to have to show that wristband to get around. So that's good. Okay, that's good that if you pay that premium price that they are gonna empty the park for the regular guests. It sucks if you are a regular guest. It's another paywall, right? If you're in Disney World on vacation, you might have um, possibly two Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Nights at Magic Kingdom, which is really gonna limit your time um, in those parks. And I would highly recommend that you do not visit the parks on those nights of the Not So Scary Halloween Party because you are gonna get kicked out early unless you have a park hopper. You're really wasting your time being at Magic Kingdom and then not being able to go to another park in the evening. So what I'm getting at, right, is Disney has raised these prices more and more. I remember back when we actually did get to attend the Not So Scary Halloween Party when it was my wife and I, and we paid um, anywhere from like $49 to $59 way back in the day. The fact that it is now $199 per person for my family of four, it's gonna cost me over $800 to go to this event. And people are still paying it. Like, are you kidding me? People are selling this party out. The only way we are gonna be able to possibly at any point get these ticket prices down is to stop going, to stop paying these exorbitant prices that Disney, I mean, it's basic business. If people are still paying this amount, that's just gonna drive them to keep increasing the prices. If you owned a business and people were selling out your business every single night and you were like, hey, let me raise the prices a dollar, people are still gonna come in. Yeah, and they're still coming in. Let's raise the prices some more. People are still gonna be coming in. It is simple economics, people. If we keep filling the parks and spending this money, they're just gonna keep raising the prices. 
But yet here we are just handing over money for the not so scary Halloween party. Now, what do you get for that money? Here's what Disney is advertising on their site. Well, you're going to see Mickey and Minnie in new costumes. Cool, that's worth it. All right, then you're going to have three spectacular uh, attractions that are going to be decked out for Halloween. So you got Space Mountain in the dark. They're going to pipe in some Halloween tunes, and you get to ride Space Mountain in the dark. So technically, they're saving on their electrical costs because they're turning out the lights. And then two, they're piping in some Halloween tunes. Great. If that's your thing, fantastic. Um, I've ridden Space Mountain with the lights on and the lights off. Cool. I guess it's a decent experience. Whatever. Then you got the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, right? They're going to put in special Halloween lights for you when you're getting dizzy. That makes me want to spend $200. <laughs> All right. And then you've got special jokes at the, uh, the laugh floor. I'm going to leave that one where it is. I mean, I would just think because it's already Halloween season that there would be some built-in jokes. But no, once the Halloween party kicks in, then you can go and hear some special Halloween jokes. For that much money, for 200 bucks, Billy Crystal and John Goodman met her be there telling me jokes in person like it's a, a special concert or something or a comedy event. Because for that kind of money, like, I don't need to hear cheesy dad jokes about Halloween. I could do that. I could go online and just look up cheesy dad, do dad jokes for Halloween. <sighs> All right, so you get the special parade. The parade is nice. I will give them that. Um, it's cool, worth seeing once. If you're going back, the Boo to You parade, I will miss it. It's a cool event. I don't think it's worth the price of admission. Then you get the special fireworks show and the castle show. Again, it's a cool event. It's, it's something cool to see. How many people actually go and watch that event? I don't know, because a lot of people are there just to ride rides and they think, hey, if I buy a ticket to this premium ticket event, the rides are going to be minuscule. The, the queue times are going to be minuscule. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Your premium attractions are still going to have long queue lines. So don't get it in your head that just because you're buying this special ticket that you're going to get front of the line um, to every single attraction. That's not going to be the case. Uh, there are still going to be long waits for those premium attractions, those e-ticket attractions. Now, some of the smaller attractions, yeah, you will be able to walk right on. Don't get me wrong. So for, you know, some of the attractions like in Fantasyland and things, you will be able to get on right away. Also, they're building up the fact that you will get to do special meet and greets with Mickey and Minnie and the villains. That's cool. All right. So you see some additional characters that are going to be in the parks and you get to dress up and you get to trick or treat. The trick or treating is fun for the kids. Yes, you get some premium candy. That's great. You're not going to get an abundance of candy. So don't think you're going to be walking out with bags and bags of premium candy. That just ain't going to happen. Now, if you want to wait the exorbitant amount of time to take your pictures with the villains and Mickey and Minnie at the event, go for it. Not necessarily my thing. Um, I do like some of the photo ops. If I get there and there's not a wait, I will wait in line for that. But for the price of admission, I don't think that it is worth it. They also bill that you're going to get uh, exclusive merchandise, exclusive event merchandise that you're going to be able to buy. Well, good luck with that. Unfortunately, my budget doesn't allow me to spend like $90 for a spirit jersey and some exclusive merch that, you know, when you roll into Christmas, you're going to be like, Dang, what am I going to do with this 2024 spirit jersey? Uh, that's up to you. Like, I, I was never a big fan of the exclusive merch. It's kind of cool. But they are billing that as one of the, um, the highlighted things that, I don't know, it just rubs me the wrong way. And then they're, they're hitting you with the uh, special treats. There's going to be special eats and drinks available throughout the park. Great. So it's another thing I can buy. Like, how about you give me a special, give me a ticket or something that allows me to have like a special treat or a special dessert or an appetizer or a drink at the party for 200 bucks. I should be able to get something. I should be able to get a special ticket or a treat or something like that. Not just a little bit of candy for the kids that go trick or treating. <sighs> so I am just, I, I just can't, I just can't believe that. The not so scary Halloween party is totally booked up except for two nights. There's only two nights that are available as of right now, uh, September 21st. And I'm sure those nights are going to sell out. So I love Disney. I'm not ragging on Disney. I don't want Disney to fail. I want them to succeed. I love the Disney parks. I love taking my kids to the Disney parks, but I'm at a point where it's a breaking point. I almost cannot afford to take my kids to Disney parks anymore. 
and the magic is dwindling. Paywalls are going up. Prices are going higher and higher and higher to the point where I can't afford it. If I can't afford uh, Genie Plus to get on the front of the line, I get to watch all the rich people go in and flock in in, in front of me. And it's just frustrating. And I'm just, I'm sorry that I'm ranting. And I know people are just saying, oh, it's another disgruntled former employee that's ranting. The magic can come back. The magic is still there if they just listen to the people. Give something back to us, please. I just don't want to get priced out because you're doing so well financially and you have a blank check, basically, to fund the entire Walt Disney Corporation and all of its affiliates. And the reason you're doing it is because you're charging me more and more money. And then you know what? It's going to come right back around Christmas time when they have the Christmas party. And I'm sure those are going to sell out too. Universal does it. I can't argue with that. I will say I do think for myself, I probably enjoy um, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal a little bit more. Definitely appeals to a more mature horror crowd, which that's me. My kids are obviously going to be more in tune with the Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Unfortunately, I can't afford either. That's just the bottom line. Um, I wish I could take my kids. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't spend... Six to seven thousand dollars, take them down on vacation, and then be able to absorb that additional price, that additional eight hundred to nine hundred dollars to take them to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Sorry, can't do it. Anyway, sorry for the the rant, guys. Um, everyone says in the comments that the one way that we're gonna get Disney to stop raising these prices is to stop going. If you can't afford these ticket prices for the not so scary Halloween party for the Christmas party, don't go. Bottom line, don't go. Sorry, Disney, if, if you're watching this, I don't want to promote people not to go to Disney World. But if you can't afford it, don't buy the ticket. Seriously, don't go into debt. Taking your family on a vacation that you can't afford. And I'm not judging you if you do. Do your due diligence save, save, save. That's what we do. And just tell your kids, just explain to them that this is a premium experience that you need to save up in advance for. And it's something that, you know, it's might only be a once in every so often kind of thing. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, I look forward to uh, giving you more videos, maybe going into a little bit more of my cast member experience in the future. But for now, I'm going to sign off and just thank you so much for watching and supporting us. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe it's me, maybe it's not just me. I want to know what you guys think. And I will uh, do my best to answer every single one of the comments that's down below. All right, aloha, folks. I think you have a wonderful evening. Uh, happy Halloween season. Aloha.